Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nigel and this is Off Grid Van Life. In this video, I'm going to be talking about these battery cells and in particular, the perils and the concern and danger, if you like, of buying these things directly from China. So if you are a regular viewer of our channel, a subscriber, then you'll know that I reviewed these cells uh, probably a month ago, maybe two months ago, thereabouts. And uh, they were meant to be 200 amp hour cells that I purchased for around $350 shipped to my door, uh, which is a very competitive price. It's very good actually. And I, to be honest, I wasn't expecting a whole lot from them. I really wasn't expecting them to reach capacity and to give uh, 200 amp hours. But I thought, hey, for that price, let's try it and just see what happens. Now, we know that they haven't reached capacity and people will come on here and comment and argue and say, well, that brand, that listing, all that sort of stuff, it was very obvious they weren't going to reach capacity. Uh, but part of the reason why we do this sort of stuff is just to find those nice little gems that do hang around on AliExpress and Alibaba for people that are in the market for a good deal that maybe don't have as much uh, cash knocking around to be able to buy the really reputable brands whose prices are now well established because they are well known and and uh, and uh, price accordingly. Um, so part of it is that, and then the other part of it as well is just to help people and to demonstrate how sort of sketchy some of the sellers from China are. Now there are some very good ones, uh, but equally there's some very bad ones. And this was a classic example of what happens with some of the Chinese sellers in that they sell you the product and they know that one of the things that is gonna absolutely nail you if the product doesn't reach capacity is the cost to get it back to them. Now, I think it's slightly different in the United States where I think you probably have a little bit more protection from your credit card companies, but here in the UK, pretty much all the credit card companies that I've tried when I've had bad dealings and been shipped dud products where I've demonstrated clearly with a capacity test, well-documented process, where they just simply did not reach capacity, where the temperatures were right, all those different factors, multiple attempts, and I just couldn't get them to pull the right capacity. The credit card companies inevitably here in the UK say to me, no problem, they'll, they'll uh, issue a full refund provided that I ship the, the dodgy products back to the seller. Now, in this case, I've decided that it's not even worth my while going down that route. And that's exactly what American Express have done. Uh, they've come back to me and said, yes, you are entitled to a full refund. However, you have to return the goods to the original seller. So in this case, they were $350, which is around 280 pounds. And I know that if I box these back up in the original box, and pay for UPS to take them back to China to the address that I've been given to return them, that it's going to cost me probably about a hundred pounds of shipping because uh, shipping to China and vice versa is really not that cheap. And so now I have in my mind, I'm like, well, do I want to pay almost 50% of the value of what I paid for these just to return them to get my 50% of the money back basically? Because the credit card company has explicitly said that they will not cover the cost of returning the goods that's down to the buyer. And this is not uncommon. I've had this time and time again with multiple credit card companies in the UK. And when you go on forums, you see people saying things like, oh yeah, just buy them on a credit card. And if they're dodgy or duds, then you just claim the money back. And that's all well and good if your uh, credit card companies will just give you the money back regardless of whether you send the products back or not. And maybe some credit card companies in the United States do that. Maybe I'm not saying the right words to the credit card company, but my experience so far is that not been uh, that successful in terms of getting the money back without uh, good, uh, without, without having sent the products back to China. Now, one thing to say though, and this is kind of a, a little bit of a uh, positive and something to be aware of is AliExpress themselves are fairly good generally in um, siding with the buyer when products are not uh, as per the description on the listings. Now, I'll give you another example. A previous set of cells that I tested, I tested pretty much as soon as they arrived on my doorstep, uh, found that they did not pull capacity, boxed them back up, disputed it, AliExpress sided with me, gave me an address in London to return the goods to. 
I suppose they must have had bulk shipping to get the, all the, the dud orders back to China or something like that, or they just disposed of them. I don't know what they did with them. But that was a very positive experience because I could just ship them back to London. No problem, it cost me like 15 pounds to ship them back to London and I got my money back, fine. One of the issues that I've had with this is that because I received the, the box, the package in February, it took me about a month to actually open it up and unbox it and make the video and test it and all that sort of stuff just because I had a lot of stuff going on and I was making lots of videos and doing other projects on the go and because I took so long to do that by the time I then went back to dispute it it was about six weeks after the package had been delivered with me and because of that time frame AliExpress sided with the seller uh, saying that the I, I clearly used the cells for a, an extended period of time before disputing it and so they sided with the seller and in this case for these cells did not uh, give me any room like couldn't even um, re uh, raise the dispute or anything like that just automatically sided with the seller so then I went down the route of my credit card company and then the credit card company uh, confirmed that I could send them back provided that I uh, well, that could get a refund provided that I send them back to China. Uh, so in this instance, I've decided it's not even worth my while sending these back. Um, I'm just going to keep them. Yes, they don't uh, reach capacity, but I'm just going to use it as a workshop battery or for tests and testing BMSs, testing returned BMSs, whatever the case is. So I guess in summary, um, just a, a bit of a heads up, really, if you are thinking of buying the components yourself to build your own DIY battery and you're looking at buying them from China, then just have that in mind that if you go for very cheap options from sellers that are potentially uh, not legit or that are potentially selling grade B cells when they're actually advertising them as grade A cells, then just have that in mind that if your cells do not reach capacity, there's probably a good chance that you're going to have to foot the bill of getting them back to China in order to have your money refunded so be aware of that hopefully that is helpful information to you uh, if you're new here we actually stock not these cells but much better cells eve cells and that's what i'm busy building a battery out over here and so we stock out, out those cells here in the uk to help people and save people that trouble and one of the things that i wanted to start doing on this channel is to offer limited discount codes on any of our uh, products on our store so if you're interested in building a battery and you don't want the hassle of having to order the stuff from China, et cetera, et cetera, you just want a UK based or if you're in Europe, if you want somebody local that can get it to you much faster and actually support them and offer those returns and all that sort of stuff uh, without having to send it all the way back to China, then I would love to be able to help you with that. And uh, we're going to give a discount code um, here on the video, it's going to be LIFE PO4, so the same as lithium ion phosphate, the acronym for that. I'll put it in the description down below. The first 10 orders will get 10% off on any purchases on our store. So hopefully that's helpful. But yeah, if you have any questions or comments or want anything, uh, want us to cover any topics on this channel or anything like that, then let us know in the description down below and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.